16 manufacturing sites across Europe are involved in the construction of the Airbus. The front and rear sections of the fuselage are loaded onto a specially constructed ship in Hamburg bound for the UK. There, the huge wings built in Bristol and Wales are added to the ship's cargo. Larger fuselage sections, including the nose, are loaded at Saint-Nazaire en route to Bordeaux. These parts are then transported in specially constructed barges, then by road at night to avoid traffic. A special satellite system plots the optimum route to Toulouse, where in places there are only feet to spare either side. After assembly in the largest aircraft factory floor space ever built, the assembled Airbus is flown to Hamburg to be furnished and painted. The A380 Airbus is now the largest passenger airline, topping the record holder for over three decades, the 747 Jumbo Jet. The main technical challenge has been to keep the weight of this enormous aircraft down to ensure that it meets performance specifications needed for airlines vulnerable to rising fuel prices. While the A380 is much the biggest member of the Airbus family, the cockpit layout is almost identical to reduce training costs. The cockpit between the A318 up to the A340-600 uh, until the 380 comes online, the, the largest of the aircraft, is virtually identical. In fact, uh, short of counting the number of uh, throttles in the aeroplane, you'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference between an A318 and the A380. So, they, yes, they are very similar. Now, in the 380, we've put in quite a lot of new technology, but we've kept the basic philosophy of the cockpit just the same. So, uh, yes, the common cockpit is, is, a, is, is a major feature. With 850 passengers on two full decks, this Sky Leviathan has a range of 8,000 miles and cruises near supersonic at 0.89 Mach or 600 miles per hour, making it the fastest existing airliner. And all this under the control of only two flight crew. I mean, I love display flying. I uh, displayed the, uh, the tornado in the Air Force for uh, a while. And I think uh, that's probably the most demanding sort of flying uh, you can do. And here as well, it's nice to be, uh, it's not the same sort of thing as displaying, displaying a fighter aircraft, but it, it's, uh, it's interesting and demanding flying. 